All right, hang tight for war. Just gonna have to bring my back.
He said that Tim was going to receive it, receive it. You're going to receive it. He said some are made Enoch. And some are born Enoch. And some become Enoch. For the, the kingdom of heaven said, so if you were born into a God-believing home, into a Christian house that has positioned you to serve Christ, glory to God. And if you were made an Enoch, meaning you were born in any kind of home, but you allowed a person who was positioned for the kingdom of heaven to lead and guide, then glory to God. And if you were born into any kind of home, but you chose to follow Christ, you chose to do the kingdom work, then glory to God, Highland. Then glory to God. For the word says, some are born Enoch, some become Enoch, and some are made Enoch. For the kingdom of heaven, what does that Enoch do? And Enoch is a set apart person. And Enoch is a person that goes after the heart of God. And Enoch is a person that is set apart, sanctified. Were you born that way? Were you made that way? Do you choose to be that way? How do I say some are born Enoch? And some are made Enoch. And some become it. Now I heard him say, those who can receive that, receive it. Because not everybody can receive that. Not everybody has a heart of courage to receive that. That's why Jesus said, pick up your cross and walk. Pick up a cross of hatred. Bear your burden of hatred from the world for choosing him and walk after him. Whether you were born into it, whether you were made into it, whether you choose to be it. He said, I am saying, whether you chose it, you are born into it, or you were made it. He said, I called you, and you didn't answer. I called you, and you did answer. Are you saying? And Enoch is a set apart, sanctified person. And when you're not set apart, and when you're not sanctified, you're in the whole mix. You're like a pillow. There is no identity, but you're trying to be everything in the world. That is why when a day comes or a new week comes and you meet your 90 year old granny or grandpa in the spirit of talking about to go and contract with about who doing the work and who this and who that and who you don't want here and who you don't like and who you hate because of the work, Jesus said, you're not hating your servant, you're hating him. Hello. Hi. You good? I heard him say, 
That's not me if I took it and if I took it him. When you sit down at the end of the day, or you go on your lunch, and you pray 10 times a day, or 50, however much time will make you feel holy. When you begin to pray, he said, make sure you include God. Because when you pray, and you go after and you do evil, you're praying to Satan. You bound down ten times to Satan. Because if you were calling God, if you were meaning God, your heart would have been pure by now. It takes one prayer, and it says, Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew in me a right spirit. You claim to be a person of God, operate like it. Identify with him. Don't talk it, because you're confessing him here, and inside empty. Empty. Wear the cross on the outside, no put it on the inside. Let it be embedded in the heart. He said, when you bow down to the ground, however you let's pray, you raise your hand, you cover your head, whatever you do, make sure that whatever underneath, make sure that what you're bowing down to is Him. You might like the Spirit of God. You might like His ways. You might like those who like them. So you think because you're foolish, everybody ought to be foolish like you. You think because you're a coward, everybody ought to be a coward like you. Because you're afraid to choose Jesus, everybody ought to be afraid. Because you're afraid to welcome a servant of Jesus, everybody must be afraid. Everybody must be ashamed. The Lord said no. He said if you could receive it, receive it. And if you don't like it, take it up with him. Go ahead. The next time you kneel down or you stand up, or you cover your head, whoever it is do to pray, he waiting for you. He waiting. Some people feel they could sanitize their way into heaven. Put some sanitizer on me. Oh, wash me down from my head to my toe. Throw me in the sanitizer. I'm going to reach in heaven. I will be clean enough. You will be clean enough. I want to see a bribe the angels to get in the gates of heaven. I want to see a sanitize from the sin. I want to see you take the sanitizer and wash yourself from sin. Some people feel they can walk their way into heaven. Walk it, man. Do as much as you can do. From birth to death, be holier than thou. And your spirit, man. Auntie, let's start the ministry. Amen. I want to see you. I want to see you walk it. Because your spirit still carrying the heredity of Adam and Eve. So you can take cow dung and pierce the floor and stick up your flag where you need to stick up your flag and you can pick a whole tree of flowers and mango leaf and you can pour the ground with milk till I don't know it overflow but that's still a washing you what do you do this waste in it Charlie? you bow now? you? How are you? Yep. 
bowing down to the concrete, to the metal, to the pitch, to the wood, to the tree. Bow down. Bow down and call it God. You made your God. And when you don't worship the idols, you're worshiping the invisible idol, which is Satan. And you know Satan is the invisible idol? He set his ways in the world. And he's an unseen thing. He's a demon. He's a fallen angel. And he set his dirty ways. So when you're praying 50, 60 times a day, you're worshiping him. You can't say God, I mean Satan. You're calling the big G, but you mean the small G. I'll do what I'm saying the next time. You get on your knees. Put your coat over your head. Or lift your hands. Address him. Just maybe. Address him. Address him. Call upon him. And maybe he might give you a clean heart. And maybe he might give you a right spirit. He might feel sorry. Else he leave you in that way, worshiping the invisible idol for Satan. Yes, he's in the world. The Bible calls him the God of this world, system. Just waited. Take the kick to lunch time. To recess. The home time. The contract. You want your sheep? She bowl, huh? She bowl face. Huh? She bowl face. And you hear your sheep? And she criticizing. And me want this. And me want that. And me want to be she friend. And me want she the family. And me want this. And me want. It's not what you want. It's what you want. It's what you want. You have nothing to say about it. You are just. Make Corona, look at the mouth that ill speak me at the end of this week. By the end of this week, make Corona, look at the mouth of those who speak against the word of God. Against me, you want to come out here and you try to make it harder. In the name of Jesus. That's why some of them bury, man, they bury family members after family members, like, and they still not turn into Jesus. They're still going home, shanty home. And I don't know. He answers to Jesus. Call him out of call him Jesus. Go rub him. Bury not the buried, have no grave. 